to our first creative writing, creative writing group session. Open to everyone. We usually meet every Thursday, half past eleven to one, and people just share their poetry or a song that they've written or a short story, and we give them feedback. Okay, so today is the first time that we're actually opening up to other people to watch and to see and just to get a feel okay, of what the group is about and for the people just to get exposure and also get feedback from the audience. Okay, so welcome and we've got about 11 items on the list. Okay, and we're opening up with the first one, we're going to do a praise poem for us and it's Alungi Le. We're just going to open up the event. Okay, thank you. Ibonjizo <laughs> Nichi kwa kuna kano sana, unga mbeni mpuka na kwaza mise, kwa sini patile ukutia kwa njile, ndi ziva jimbo vane, andizo teta gembo njizo mtonya na nezo siba, a imbo njizo mtonya na nezo siba, zikala geza tena makalo, nto inye msiwa kwa ndu, na nisifundiswa, lendo yopa yungu wangi afundewa, inga gole kisi no gole kisa, Ila peka sini emprini Upa yungu mayo ndo ya mpimu onke Ewe nja vuma siku mba wezu na gala yunga mekwe nyama Ha mfa wako beta kwe duini Mwee zindo za kuti Mwee chukunswa za kuti Madinieke madina jepa shalenu Into ya kwa mkongu chabala lujengu Maywele kweza nja vazi sikisizo role 
in literacy development. Telling and hearing stories is just as important as sitting down and reading sentences in a book. My dear friends, stories are a major asset even in today's technological ages. Stories prepare all children for life, promote social interaction among young people, between children and other groups in the community, while fostering an awareness of the cultures of others. For instance, when you learn Africans, English is a course. Stories you don't just learn about the languages. I mean, you don't just learn about stories. You learn more about the speakers of the language. We all know that language and culture are the mainstay of our identity. In folk tales, there is also the opportunity for stylized language, for poetry, fantasy, and heightened reality. A story is an intriguing piece of action. It is a specialized craft. Rhythm, melody, and style are important in storytelling. Friends, I have now come to the end of my talk. Okay.
I just want to Nobody <laughs> Swan 
His father of things can turn from good to bad. He erupted like anger when he discovered he was going to be the dead. And just when things were so bad, they turned to worse. That man was supposed to be a blessed, but to her it became a curse. She was too dumb boy with high people to cover the bruises and scars behind her chest. If you were to know why, and so what I'm saying, now we're going to include the part that they think they're going to be in China. All the cities are going to go. We're going to go to the city. 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 Brothers, is that all right? When we listen to the light, that woman is so special and yet so fragile in your heart. Every time she tries to complain, he always say, Shut up! I'll kick your butt. Your mouth was shut. And then she kept quiet, like a church mouse. She was to deal with the situation on her own. She couldn't go home to visit her family. Neither her friends, she dropped them a long time ago. She was stuck alone in this deep tap room and she called it home and suddenly just comes and goes as he pleases. She got diagnosed with decision paralysis. You all know how that is in the situation that is crisis right here in the streets where life is about taking chances. So she did not plan her escape from that ape. Hello, this is the name of her When she applied for divorce, Baba Bandi Jalena, they all let us be in each other. Of the eyes of the princess turning grey and days becoming dark and nights becoming darker. Cold winds whistling from all directions and dreams are dead and gone. Nightmares are born. And planted beneath her sky, straight down to her conscious, she was no more with talkers. Sometimes she would sit on the street and reminisce. Mama was like a city. And this one, then among us, the only last name, who called him. I can't even know this. I I said, I'm a dog. Can't be dead. Send that is your own. Anyway, the Sahib Bucha. It's funny. I want them to have a Katiwanja. In those nightclubs, we like what you want to call them in the branch. While he was fleshing, in the flesh, she saw a way in life without getting it tough, never knowing it would be rough. And to suddenly, the situation was like taking a baby, taking a candy from a baby like Abra Kadawa. Those were his magic words.
Shaking, frightened, and I'm a pants, I'm crying, my heart beating, my emotion jumping, dancing to, dancing to the frightened awareness of corruption in our country. It's a history, and the he said he's not done yet. Not done yet. He clapped me, hit me. He then bruised my tears and voice I could not scream or cry. He then bones me by rape. He then bones me by rape. I've been attacked in the corners of Sansa. And phase one, my street, my home, my country. And all I want to know is how do we stop this violence? How do we stop this violence? Mm. Timber. 
In the afternoon, I wanted to send him to the shops and guess what? He said he was busy and off he went to play soccer with his friends. Imagine me leaving all my chores and going to the shops myself. Yet I have a son who can just run and come back within five minutes. I hear you, darling. Let me first sit down and relax. Then we can discuss the matter. She moves out of the doorway because all this time she had been ranting about her son without caring that I was from work. Needless to say, she did not take my coat. Surely, the volcano had erupted. I noticed tears welling up in her eyes and I almost dropped down in pain, but drew her close to comfort her. When last did I see my wife crying so bitterly? I can't even remember. Now this boy has caused all this. I am going to skin him alive today. Everything is just topsy-turvy in my life. Tomorrow I have a presentation at work, and now it's 9 p.m. and I'm still waiting for this little cockroach, which has gone wild. Even daring to climb up the wall in the presence of important visitors? How disgraceful. I look at the signs on the wall. One is our family photo, and beneath there's a message. Peace to all who enter here. Another one reads, I'm the head of the house and my wife is the co-head. I smile as if I'm seeing this for the very first time, like a child who has picked a dollar note on the streets. It is indeed a milestone achievement to see women being placed on equal footing with men, something which has not been there in the past. In a way, I think it is the first because everyone thinks so, at least at face value. I wonder if deep down in our hearts, there's that feeling that it is really happening. After all, we have different abilities by nature, something which will always be impossible to change. At my parents' home, I'm definitely sure there's a message that I st that's still there in, a, in the lounge. I am the president of this house, and my wife is the assistant. I wonder if those artists still make those signs with messages like that of my parents' home. I would be glad to buy one, but where would I paste it? There would be war. <coughs> but it represents the reality in this house. Pasting it in my mind would do. The big boss arrives at the opening of the gate. And the opening of the gate makes an eerie sound one hears in horror movies. He immediately senses danger as he sees my car already parked in the garage. Usually I arrive from work at around 11 p.m. and by then he knows I would be dead asleep and there would be no confession of sin or sins to be made since I leave for work when the whole neighborhood is still dreaming. <coughs> Just like an intruder, he proceeds to try the handle of the door and he finds to his utter dismay that it is locked. I open for him as I lock the door again. The other hand is clutching his scorny neck. He winces in pain, and from the way he's struggling, I notice that for the first time, my son has really gone wild. He can possibly fight me, I can tell. Right now, I'm seeing anger like a cobra, and I toss the poor soul on the sofa. My co-head is seated right. He's seated silently at the dining table, waiting for justice to be meted out instantly. I will have it my own way, and I proceed to advise my son first. It is like having the starter before the main course. You see, son, good behavior is an integral part of your life, and you should never get carried away in life and rebel against your parents. I notice some remorse and prospects of reformation in the young soul's face, and I smile. At least there's a glimmer of hope. You should maintain discipline and not be like the robots which assume different characters within a short space of time. This moment is red, this moment is green. You should be like the water of the Zambezi River which flows in one direction always. The time comes for me to tell the young boy to apologize to his mother for his erratic behavior and to my shock he keeps quiet. Immediately I think maybe he's shy and I urge him on just the way soccer fans do the players. The silence continues and my cheering has graduated into madness because it is like the boy saying, you are playing old man. I draw out my belt 
Oh, you are playing old man, because what you just said ends through the one ear and out the other. I draw out my bell to do justice as my wife had expected me to in the first place. The bell reminds me that of my father, which he still wears up to this day. That one is a strong one, indeed, because all my four brothers knew the pain he could inflict in one's bottom. My wife had ceremoniously left the room when I began disciplining our son, and now she comes in running to restrain me. I swear I would have killed the boy if it was not for the timely intervention of his mother. He apologizes and we all retire to bed. It does not take us 30 minutes to go to dreamland and nothing is heard in the room except snoring. This is the moment when people do their dark acts, knowing that the sun is not going to expose them. Barely an hour past midnight, I wake up from a nightmare where a vampire is chasing me. My whole body feels numb and I cannot move my heart. I cannot move and my heart is beating like a drum. I just feel that the vampire is in the house, but my mind assures me that it is not the case. This usually happens every time I have a nightmare. I feel I only have a heart, mind and eyes. The other parts of my body feel totally paralyzed. Suddenly there's a bang. And it dawns on me that there's some burglars trying to invade my house. I pull out my note carry to investigate and I tiptoe to the lounge with my heart thumping. I whispered to my wife that she should enter the kids' bedroom and I lock the door behind her. Just as I enter the lounge, I see that the burglar is pulling out the DVD player through the broken window. A struggle ensures and I eventually wrestle it from his hands. Seconds later, stones are hold at the window and there's a commotion as Natemba screams. The stones are hold till all the window panes are broken. From next door, a female voice can be heard calling out to her husband. Sir John, go and help your friend, he's being attacked by robbers. <laughs> <laughs> Loudly he replies, what? Are you crazy? Do you know what weapons they are carrying? She screams back. You can set the dogs on them. This obviously annoys the husband as the wife expects him to do exactly as she says. Listen here. I don't want my dogs to be killed also. So please, no more arguing with me. Determined, she replies. Come on, be a man and do something. It would be funny tomorrow when Tata Bella tells you that he was attacked by robbers and I can picture you replying lamely that you heard the noise and did not do anything. Or you would say that you did not hear anything? Suddenly, Sir John's dogs can be heard barking loudly as Sir John deliberately opens, the, opens his big and noisy gate in an attempt to distract the robbers who have been terrorizing the neighborhood for so long. In an instant, the car, the robber's car tires can be heard screeching down the street. Sir John's plan had worked like a dream. I go over personally to thank my neighbor for his help. After locking all my doors, we retired to bed. Early the next morning, a crowd had gathered in front of my yard. Most of them are women, and they are standing some distance away. All that can be seen is the vigorous shaking of heads. The men are inside assessing the damage to my property. Very soon the police would be here, as someone had called them. A lady police officer arrived. And the way she handles the situation assures me that the case is in capable hands. I smile as I notice all the women nodding their heads in admiration. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. Um, up next, we have MQ again. So we're performing a poem called Sexual Daisy. Okay. Hello again. Um, this one is not for the conservative. Um, this poem is entitled Chronicle, Sexual Debut, and Insights. This is a poem about sex. A penis. A vagina, a rectum, and a mouth. In and out till 
stuff comes out. Can somebody tell me what this is all about? I asked my mother. She spewed some crap about love, companionship, lifetime commitment, reproduction. But still, what is this all about? So I asked my friends, and the answer came in three words. Fucking is fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like an idiot, I tried it. But I mean, I'm not insipid. I watch TV, I hear about things from life, life and such. So, I got myself a piece of plastic, I mean an actual condom, and I found myself a nice little playground and had some fun. And it was good, with the electricity rushing up and down my body. It was good the second time too. And the third. And the fourth. <laughs> So I pull out, remove the piece of plastic, wrap it in toilet paper, and throw it in the dustbin and wash my hands. Without saying anything, I leave the house, get on a taxi, go to church, and stand in front of the preacher's desk and ask him. All this in and out, what the fuck is it all about? Dumbstruck by my audacity, but moved by my sincerity, the man of compassion asks. He speaks riddles and theories, so I ask him to explain it to me practically. He said, Sex is the physical representation of the union between the Son of God as head and groom and the church as body and bride. Question mark. So no sex before marriage, I said. Yes, he agreed. Knowing I'm not that strong, I said, Thank you very much, and I will die. Walking home, I asked myself, I have a penis, and the vagina is not hard to find. So what is this all about? The answer came to me in a flash of light, when for the first time in my life, I saw a woman as a human, and not just another roll of the dice. As a human being, I need love. But as someone in my 20s, I need sex. But as me, I finally realize that I need both. It's love that's meant to fill the hole. Freedom, if only existing in words. 
free education for all, as written in the legislation <coughs> during the emancipation 1980. Today, 2012, Zoe, Miss Louise, Garden Boy, had no success in accessing free education. They said he didn't have a fee for free education. A fee for free education. <laughs> <laughs> I am not saying the education system has failed to improve the system, but I am saying what they said back in the day should end today. Shh. If we had the breaking news, the breaking news about Esther. Esther happens to be a minister. The minister of finance in France is being charged with the investment of funds for the funds us the people. A breed that is tend to greet at the expense of the need. I am not saying the political realm has become a shame. Not saying that. But I am saying what they preach is not what they teach. Stuck up in such a situation, hopeless, helpless, I ran to the church. The holy house of God. The light of silence. I cannot find true love. True love instead I see my life. Falling for brother love more than one. I repeat, for brother love more, not only love more, but brother love more than one. I, ante I anticipated that he was the true son of God, the true saved son of Christ. But instead he was a true son of love and love. So he left me. I am not saying the church of today is full of deceitful souls or hypocrites. I'm not saying that. But I am saying there are more wolves covered in sheepskin. There are more glitters ever shining and sparkling than you go. My people, I am not saying it's out yet. But I'm saying that out. Look out. I am not saying, but I'm saying. And this good team, a single good team, and the job got to Choked on one, four, three, 